DIY cookies and cream shots, scene one, take one. Hello, welcome. What I'm gonna be doing in today's video is something I have not done since October of 2013, and that is a DIY. And why, you might ask, is because it is now the fall season. People are gonna be dressing up, going out more, going to Halloween parties, want to get drunk, they, they want drinks. Or you may stay at home and watch movies and be a loner and drink by yourself. <laughs> I feel your pain. And if you did not know this, I am a bartender. That's right, I'm a bartender. In Sims, the game. So what I'm gonna be making is a... Try that again. So what I'm gonna be making is a Hershey's Cookies and Cream Vodka Shot. I haven't seen it be done here on YouTube yet before. I've seen things similar, and I know you can buy like the pre-made Cookies and Cream Vodka by the bottle. I haven't seen it in person, but I've seen it on the internet. But where is the fun in that? But I'm gonna be making it in such a way that it's so easy, even Harambe can do it. And he's not even here anymore. And just a heads up, I am not condoning underage drinking, so if you're under the legal age of consuming alcohol, then please do not consume it. I'm sure some of you will anyway. Just don't drive, don't consume it out in public, in parties. Look, it's not cool. You look stupid. Just please don't put your life and other innocent lives at risk. It's just not worth it. So let's go ahead and make these drinks. I still need to get vodka and Hershey's cookies and cream. So let's go to the store and get that. everything I need. DIY bartender school, Jeremiah aviation trafficking. I got the vodka, I got the Hershey's cookies and cream, and I also had to purchase some shot glasses. These will have to do. So the first step that you want to do is you probably want to purchase the pre-made cookies and cream vodka, unless of course you're feeling adventurous and spontaneous. Then in that case, you want to grab your shot glass. I'm going to choose the orange one because this looks like Coachella. And then you want to go ahead and unwrap your cookies and cream. After you unwrap the candy bar, then you want to go ahead and try a piece to make sure it's good. So after you try the piece or two or three, you then want to break off a single piece and then eat that too. No, but seriously, break off a single piece and don't eat it. So after you have the single piece, I'm assuming the single piece because that's just symbolizing everyone's relationship status that's watching me right now. You then want to make it as small and grind it up as possible. In my case, I'm going to have to use scissors and make it as tiny and crumbled as possible. All right, you guys, so I found out that only using half of one of those single pieces is perfectly fine for a shot. So for every one piece, you can have two shots and there's 12 pieces in a pack, so you can get... Did you guys know that Thomas Edison invented a light bulb? I know, crazy. Oh wait, 24 shots per pack. Yeah. Yeah. And to make the pieces even more grounded up, I'm just gonna put the scissors inside of here and do it this way. I actually advise doing it this way because it's a lot less of a mess. Just make sure your scissors are clean, obviously. So there you have it. I'm probably gonna choke. So once you have it grounded up, you then wanna open up your vodka and then go ahead and pour a shot. What the hell? So then what you wanna do next is put it in your refrigerator, let the flavors marinate and let them like hold on to each other and make love. And then, and then you'll continue with your shot in about 30 minutes. So I just put the shot inside the refrigerator and before I put it in, I stirred it up and I noticed the candy pretty much disintegrated. And I was also thinking if you have a blender, mine broke, don't ask how, um, you can just pour like half a bottle of vodka with like a cookies and cream bar and then mix it up and then do it that way. And also, Let's go ahead and pour a shot for me while I wait. Even though the last time I drank was a nightmare. We actually only have like a gulp left. So let me go ahead and gulp it down. You know? Oh man, I found a vodka bottle right here. Catch. <laughs> oh my dog. You want to mix your shot up like this so you get like extreme, ex extreme shotness. If anyone could drink, cheers. Let's do it. What kind of shot glass is that? I felt like I just drank a gallon of it. <laughs> I'm having an instant flashback. I just threw up so much, but I feel so much better. Look. Yeah, that's throw up. <laughs> it is so hot in my room. All right, you guys, so the shot was in there for about 35 to 45 minutes, um, and it looks the same. 
that's when I put it in. I suggest you blending it up really well together, the vodka and the cookies and cream, and then doing it that way. <laughs> I did it the ghetto way. So what I'm gonna do is do a taste test of this. I probably won't drink it all. I don't I don't know, it depends how it tastes, but yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, it smells like cookies and cream. Oh, uh, yep, it's the vodka, it, it's there, obviously. Okay, it tastes just like vodka going down. The aftertaste though definitely has some of that cookies and cream aftertaste, which then makes the vodka not as harsh. <clears throat> it's a shot, man. don't taste it. <laughs> Just take it and swallow it. It tastes like 100% vodka in your mouth at first and going down all vodka, but the aftertaste is cookies and cream, which is, it, it's pretty cool. I'm surprised. Like I thought this was, <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like a really big flop. I give it like a seven out of 10, which which honestly is not that bad considering the way that I did it. <laughs> Yo, it's all on my phone. <laughs> it is all on my phone. <laughs> what? I still feel like you should probably buy the pre-made vodka cookies and cream just because. If you're feeling adventurous and spontaneous and you wanna make something, then definitely, by all means, go for it. It's still very strong. It still tastes like a vodka shot, but the aftertaste, it, it, it's not too bad. But if any of you guys at home watching this right now decide to do this yourselves, then let me know what you think about it. You can open the description box, follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and my Snapchat. Let me know. But other than that, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. So hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, follow me on my social media, and also just remember, I'm only here to save your Mondays and occasionally get Thursdays.